Hi, today we'll be turning this photo into a 3D photo for Facebook. It's really simple and easy to do and it wouldn't take more than a minute. Maybe two. If you didn't know, you can actually do this on your smartphone but your smartphone has to be a newer model with portrait mode so if your phone is an older model that doesn't have portrait mode or you have a very old picture you can actually do this in photoshop with a depth map what's a depth map simply put depth map is a picture that's purely gray so a lighter gray is closer to you and a darker gray is further away from you with that said let's work on this picture i'll quickly make a selection of this doggo i'm using a quick selection tool so that I can separate it from the background. By the way, I'll be making a future tutorial where I'll go through all these tools and what it actually does. So with the selection, I'll create a new layer and fill it with a lighter grade since this is actually nearer to us. And now we'll create another new layer and put it below this layer which will be our background and fill it with a darker grey. Hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to deselect the current selection. Choose a darker shade of grey and fill it in. There you have it, this is our depth map. Now we'll be saving this depth map. Always remember, the depth map has to be the similar name as the original file with underscore depth at the back. It doesn't matter whether you save it in JPEG or PNG. With that done, let's move into Facebook. All we have to do is just drag and drop the two picture file into the create post and Facebook will do its thing. It will take some time, around 30 seconds to a minute. But once it's done, you have a really dope looking picture which you can show off to your friends. You can actually bring this further a bit by creating multiple depths. For this, I'm only using two depths. So if you create a lighter grey, a middle grey and a darker grey, you'll have three depths. You can have as many depths as you want and the picture will look much much nicer. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do leave a comment below with some of the 3D photos that you have done with the help of this tutorial. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and don't forget to hit the notification button for future tutorials and I'll see you soon.